Hi my dear Unix and Linux learners. In this session we are going to learn about a set of commands to handle uh, directory files. Okay. So what is a directory file? A directory file is a file, a special kind of file which contains a set of files, information about a set of files. Okay, which contains the names of a set of files. Okay, so a directory file is a special file which contains the files within it. We call it a folder also. In Windows terminology, we call it as a folder. So a directory contains a set of files in it. Okay, so we can group a set of files into a particular directory. So how do we work with the directory? So how do we create a directory? How do we, how do we remove a directory? How do we get to know in which directory we are presently in. Okay, so what do, how do we list the files in the directory? So we are going to see all these information. We are going to learn about all these. First, how do you create a directory file? Okay, there is a command called mkdir. So mkdir helps us to create a directory. So mkdir followed by a directory file name. Okay. For example, I want to create a directory directory wherein I want to put all my C program files. So what I can do, I can just name it like cprox, some relevant name. So that I know that all my the C source files I will be putting into this particular directory. So I have created one directory called cprox. So mkdir cprox. So I want to just check whether my directory has been created. Yeah, in our previous session we created that my file. Now I have created one file directory file called cprox. So what is the difference between the file my file and the file cprox? See if you look at the beginning, no. If you look at the beginning of that ls command output, you have the d, and here you have that hyphen. It begins with hyphen. Here it begins with d. If it is a directory file, then here it would begin with D. If it is an ordinary file or a regular file, it will begin with hyphen. Okay. So we will come to this ls command later on. So let us be with the mkdir command. So as I told you, mkdir command helps us to create one directory. Okay. Fine. Then how do we remove a directory? If we want to remove a particular directory, then there is a command called rmdir. There is a command called rmdir. Whatever I begin with a hash, no, it's a comment. So now the rmdir command will not be executed. Okay, that line will be ignored by the shell because I prefixed with hash. Hash is a way of indicating that that's a comment line. Okay. So, using rmdir command, I can remove a particular directory. Okay. Before that, what I will do? I will create one more directory. Okay. mkdir. Okay. Something like Perl prox. So, wherein I want to put all my Perl script programs. Okay. Now, what I will do? Okay. I will go to the directory cprox. How do I go to a particular directory? There is a command called cd. Okay. Where am I now? PWD. PWD means what? Print working directory. So PWD stands for print working directory. Okay. So print working directory. So I, I want to know for in which directory I am currently in. So I am in my home directory. So I want to go to the cprox directory let us suppose. Then the command cd will be handy. So cd cprox that will take me to the cprox directory. Now I want to know in which directory I am. PWD will tell me in which directory I am. So I am in cprox directory. So how do we quickly create some files? One way of quickly creating files is that by using touch command. So with touch command we can quickly create files. Those files will be created as empty files. Okay. So let me just create for just for our purpose right now. Let me just create some empty files. 
okay fib dot c that is to calculate the fibonacci numbers fact dot c to compute the factorial of a given number okay prime dot c to generate a set of prime numbers okay just like that we have created some files i want to know whether those files are there ls hyphen l we will come to the uh, how this ls hyphen l works we will come to that later on i'll just display them yes these files have been created okay now let me go to my parent so pwd i am in cprox which is the parent of cprox parent of cprox is murali underscore maha how do i go to the parent of the current directory cd dot dot cd space dot dot cd is the command dot dot means what dot dot is the shortcut for the parent directory of the current directory okay so cd dot dot will go to my parent okay so where am i now i am in my home directory pwd that tells me that i am in my home directory okay ls hyphen l so i have cprox let me just create one more directory pearlprox okay let me try to remove this cprox directory with the rmdir command so i told you that rmdir removes the directory rmdir cprox am i able to remove this directory no but what is the reason for failure directory not empty so we cannot remove a non empty directory we can remove only an empty directory if a directory is an empty directory then we can remove it with the help of rmdir command so but cprox is not an empty directory why because cprox have got a set of files right so you can't remove the cprox directory ls hyphen l i have perl prox also does perl prox have any files no so sorry ls hyphen l perl prox no it doesn't have any files it means what perl prox is an empty directory perl prox is an empty. let me once again show you no it doesn't have any files so it is it is an empty directory so let us, let us try to remove this directory perl prox rmdir perl prox yes we are able to remove it how do we know that we have removed it ls hyphen l now perl prox is not there so we can remove an empty directory with the rmdir command but how to remove a non empty directory see let us suppose that the scenario is like this i have c prox i have some files in it but i very well know that this cprox the files within this cprox are not required so i just want to remove the cprox directory itself in that case how to remove it but we can't remove that non empty directory with rmdir but there is another way of removing it we will keep it for as a uh, parking lot okay meaning i will uh, tell about this in a different session when we are going to uh, work on a different command okay that time i will be referring to that how to remove a non empty directory so okay please keep following our channel so that you will be uh, getting to know that how to remove a non empty directory okay so now we have learnt about the rmdir command and uh, we have learnt about the mkdir command we have learnt about the pwd command okay now we are going to learn about ls command what is the purpose of ls command ls command's purpose is to list the set of files in the current directory so if i execute ls command it lists the set of files in the current directory ls command comes with certain options what is the purpose of options options are specified with a command for the purpose of doing some specialized task okay ls command basic task is to list the files but in that we want to uh, tell some conditions okay we want to satisfy some conditions like i want to list the all the files in my current directory okay but i want to get a long listing so i want to get a long listing that is a specific condition so if i want to do that then what i can do i can specify an option called hyphen l option 
L for hyphen L for long listing. So this way I am telling to ls command that I want to list the files in my current directory as a long listing. Okay, all the files that are directory files that would be, it would begin with the long listing output would begin with D. If it begins with D, it means it is a directory file. The other characters we will learn later on. What are, what is the meaning of R W X or if X? We will learn it later on. And if the long listing output begins with a hyphen, it is an ordinary file. It's an ordinary file, right? My file. My file is an ordinary text file. So it's beginning with hyphen. There are certain more options of there are certain more types of files we are going to learn about it that later on. Okay. So let us learn about some more options of the ls command. Okay, so we have learnt about uh, long listing output of ls. Okay, let me create some more files. Touch. Okay, new file. Touch. Okay, touch new file. ls hyphen l. You have a new file. Then uh, ls hyphen l. C prox. Okay. <coughs> Fine. So here we have three files. Okay. You look at the output of the LSI fungal. Okay. You have first first column is what? The first column, first character. If it begins with D, it is a directory file. Other characters, I will tell you about that. Second column. Okay. Now the, that indicates the number of links to the, the file. Then the UID, then the GID, then the size of file, then the date and time and month of last updated timestamp, then the name of the file. Okay. So every file will have UID, GID, who is the owner of the file, to which group that person belongs to, then the size. Let me quickly tell you about the size. Uh, as far as the directory file is concerned, the size is uh, indicated by the number of blocks allocated to the directory. When we create a directory file, the number of blocks is one block, 512 bytes block. One block is allocated. And for any regular file, the actual the size of the file will be indicated to uh, actually how many bytes that file's contents occupies. That is what indicated by the size of the file. As far as this new file is concerned, size is zero because it's an empty file. It was created as an empty file. <clears throat> Let us look at the other options uh, of the ls command. ls hyphen t would display the list of files in the order of their timestamps. So when it was updated, ls hyphen lt would display in the order of the descending order of the timestamp, the latest updated file to the earliest updated file. If you want to reverse it, what you should do? ls hyphen ltr. So that should display from earliest to the latest timestamp. Okay. So that is the difference between ls hyphen lt and ls hyphen ltr. Okay. ls hyphen capital F should display the list of files uh, and I, what what does it do means uh, based on the type of the file it will suffix with one particular character so here in this list of files the cprox is a directory file directory files would be suffixed with the slash character okay so uh, we would uh, in the next uh, session no uh, we would be continuing with this ls and then we would be uh, looking at uh, many more commands Okay, stay tuned with us. Okay, um, so uh, for uh, getting the frequent updates and for getting the notifications, uh, you may uh, subscribe for this channel and you can click on the bell icon for getting the notifications. Uh, thank you all for staying tuned. All the best. Take care.